what's up guys and welcome back to another video so today's video i'm going to be making a updated guide on how to get fast proficiency and how to get fast weapon bond so with the recent stuff with the cube items from like volume 2 and then volume 3 there's a lot of boosters and rings that you can use to get your proficiency faster or your weapon bond faster so the first one I'm going to be going over is proficiency. I'm also going to put timestamps below so you can see if you want to go to the proficiency part or the bond part. So first starting off with proficiency, I would recommend getting this incarnation, Comet Stigmata. I'm going to teleport to the area you can get that and so I'm just going to cut right here and I'll see you guys in that area. So this is the area you can get this uh, incarnation in. Uh, the, you gotta get it from this clamp cluster right up here, Comet Stigmata, and all you gotta do is just take out these clamps right here, so take out the little ones, so one right there, one right there, and then one over here, and then make your way over to that clamp cluster. Now, the reason you want this is because it's effect skill speed plus 50%. If you're gonna be farming proficiency, or even just weapon bond, you want to have as much skill speed as possible. Keep in mind though, the, the uh, break requirement for this is when attacking an enemy. So it's not whenever you hit an enemy. What it means by attacking is whenever you actually kill an enemy. So when you kill an enemy, it has a 40% chance of breaking or increasing its counter to where it will break. But you can put this on whatever armor. Like for me, I kept the villager outfit and I just put it on there. So you can put it on everything. Just make sure you make sure you watch the uh, the counter on it, so you don't actually break it. Now, as for you know like the rings and stuff, if you played during volume two and got some of these rings, you can use these. This is a rapier ring, proficient to gain 100%. Uh, there's a katana, bow, spear. Um, up here, there's more. So right here, there's one hand, dagger, mace, whip, two hand sword, pretty much like all of the weapons that have a, uh, they have a ring for proficiency. But uh, you, you don't need these, you can still get proficiency fast, it's just if you have one of these that you're trying to get proficiency for a weapon, that's just an added bonus. But uh, you, you, like I said, you don't need it. There's also some boosters as well over here in the network tab that you can get from cube now as for the boosters there's quite a lot of boosters that can really just give you proficiency and now with the latest cube volume there's also some that give you like a uh, like star mastery increases and stuff like that so like right here this is a, a tome this is from cube volume 3 these are tomes that can also boost your proficiency gain. So like this one is like lowest here, that's 50%. Um, you know, the, this uh, down here and everything. But those are ones you can get. These are like the, uh, I think this is like the second tier right here, the blue rarity. Or it might be the highest tier because that's 200%. And then that right there is 100%. So the blue one, this, these right here, the golder ones, with the blue background, these are your highest tier. So that's 200% proficiency gain, plus the ring you have, which is 300%. So you can use those as well if you have them. Now, as for where to farm proficiency, the fastest, you can do it the old school method, and you can go to a clamp cluster and just hit. So I will go teleport to the clamp cluster that I go to, so you can see what I mean. So over here in Villain Plateau, this is in the west region. Uh, this is where I come from my, where whenever I was doing the uh, clusters for proficiency back in the day, this is where I would always come. There is a lion right here, but I highly recommend if you're coming here, uh, bring a tank with you if you can't kill this lion easily. But uh, you should be fine if you throw on Agile Flurry, the passive. I want to say as well for passives you want to throw on some more skill speed. I don't know if blade dance affects proficiency gain or bond gain since it's another hit. 
it might i'm not too sure entirely on that so i don't know but for skill speed passives so we're the servant 10 percent and then there's another one down here somewhere that's the same thing it's another 10 percent so like right here instantaneous stance 10 percent another thing you can do as well is you can get the prodigy persona which i think is from eldria probably i think it's from eldria but this can increase your attack speed as well so you can throw that on too so as for what you do all you do really is just hit the cluster like as you can see not doing any damage white shield pops up when i hit it but it'll still count that you're getting proficiency now, I think difficulty affects how much proficiency gain you get. I could be wrong, but whenever I would come here, I would always just put it on death game. So that's what I would do. But you can't see now because I've already got everything at max proficiency, but as you're hitting it, you can bring the battle log up right there and you'll see that you're gaining proficiency. So that's one of the easier methods you can do. Uh, I recommend if you're doing it like that, that you uh you know watch a show or something while you're doing it because you're gonna be there for a bit you know and it's gonna be a little bit boring especially if you're trying to get all weapons to max proficiency so that's one thing you can do now another thing you can do and this is what we did um kind of fairly new is that if you can do the extreme raids you can go on south extreme and once you get to the boss what you want to do is, you know, put the skill speed passives on and everything. Make sure you have enough accuracy to even hit the boss. And another thing you want to throw on is this AoE passive up here. Which is Cackling Devastator. And then for your EX skill, you want to throw on Buffer so you can increase your AoE range. That way, as you're just hitting the mob, you will hit, you know, its two front legs, and then if you end up downing it, you can hit its other legs as well. You know, you'll be hitting its main body, its two legs, and whatnot. And that can be a really good way to earn proficiency as well. You can just hit there and press, you can press square. If you're on PlayStation, you can press, press square, just do this over and over. Or you can, you know, throw in some sword skills as well if you want to get some star mastery. But that's another way you can do proficiency. I just prefer doing that one right there. So for the next part for getting a uh, fast weapon bond, what you want is, like I guess you want to get this still, the, the common stigmata, you want to have this on as well. If you have any accessories with skill speed as well, you can throw those on. But for the ring, you want to get the one from Q volume three. And I would recommend if you can get this with uh, your tickets, I uh, highly recommend you try to go for this because this will be a ring you will want pretty much the entirety of this game because it increases how much bond you will get on a weapon. And by bond, I'm referring to the green bar you see right below the, uh, the status menu of my weapon right there. That's weapon bond and once you get it to max, you know, as, as you increase it, it'll, bo it'll further boost the stats that are on that weapon. But that's one thing you want is that ring. Same thing applies as uh, putting on the skill speed and all that. And one thing you want to do is I'm going to show you two different methods you can do. One of them I still prefer, but I'm going to show you the first method and that's by going to the East Raid. So I'm going to cut here and I'll see you at the East Raid. So once you're here at the East Raid, just follow this path that I'm going to take. I recommend doing this on extreme and doing it on death game that way the crystal will just pretty much survive uh the thing about this is like it doesn't matter if you don't have enough accuracy uh even if you can't you know hit the mobs here in the extreme raid on death game you can still hit the crystals the crystals don't have an accuracy requirement so pretty much once you even just you can even do this on the normal raid if you like uh, but doing it on an extreme, the crystal will have more health. You can also bring your AI here too if you want to get them. Like if you want to also get some star mastery, you can have your AI just spam sword skills here that you want to get star mastery on. Or you can even get bond on them as well. But what you're going to do, 
is just sit here and spam square. That's pretty much all you're going to be doing. Uh, this is the old method of doing this. For me, I prefer it this way because I can just sit here, press one button, or you can even do a macro or something like that if you have one. And just sit here and I'll just watch some videos or something like that. But this is pretty much the method you will, you know, probably be doing early on. Now, I'm going to show the next method, and this one is going to be at a mutated beast. So I'm going to cut here, and I'll see you guys at the mutated beast. Now, one thing I want to mention is as well is like if you're farming, you know, some proficiency, or if you're farming XP from the XP method I showed, where you kill the uh, kobolds and the group of enemies, you can throw on AoE and still get some proficiency that way while you're also farming, uh, you know, your XP levels. You can get XP, bond, and X you can get XP, bond, and proficiency there at the same time if you want. But that's it's not the fastest. But for the mutant, you want to go here. Do this on normal because lowest accuracy requirement, but you want to go to the red uh mutated beasts and i believe it's this one right here the level 150 which is vermilion flash fang this right here is going to be the spider one if i remember correctly and with this one you will want to throw on aoe because you want to hit its main body and its two uh legs because that way you will be getting more proficiency that way now this method is fast for most of the weapons Probably all of them, but I know for Rapier, this is very fast. But this is the guy you just want to go up against. Yes. Now, I don't have the AoE on, but as you can see, like the little white dots, like on his two arms right there, you know, that's where you're gonna, that's where your hits are gonna go with AoE as well. Some weapons will be better with AoE because they have more range to them, I guess you can say. And some won't, like dual wield isn't really too great, it's only really good with Final Revolution. But like I said, Rapier is definitely the fastest here. But you can do this with all weapons if you wish. For me, I just prefer the crystal method still. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video for the more updated guide on the fast proficiency and bond it's pretty much the same thing just with like one extra new thing you can do plus the the items from cube that you can use but that's about it and if there's ever some kind of other faster way or method in the future i'll also do that as well and show you guys but until next time i'll see you guys in the next video peace